Nein! Hey guys, Nikki here, and this vlog will be brought to you by Arabella Hair, so let's hop straight into the packaging. This is the box right here. Let's open it up and see everything that you will get. There's a bag in here. You can put your wig in if you're not wearing it and you don't want to keep the box. That's it right there, so let's get into it so we can see everything that came with it. There are HD wig caps, two come in there. There's a pair of lashes in here, an edge band. There's an edge brush slash comb. You will also get this pin right here if you want to use that in your hair. And this is the wig right here. It is 26 inches. It is body wave. And it is this beautiful highlighted wig right here. So let's look into the lace real quick. The lace looks pretty, pretty good. It is pre-plucked. It is pre-parted for you guys. Off inside of the wig, there is one comb and there's a strap in case you want to wear it glueless. So I'm going to start with my foundation. Just get it on in a brush and tint the lace so that we won't have any flashback. This is just how the wig looks straight out the box and I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to start with some wax to move all of that out the way so I can see what I am doing. I'm going to cut the ear tabs off. This wig was pretty, pretty big. I don't know if they asked me for a size, but it was like almost to my neck, honey. So let's take the got to be glue gel. I'm going to put this on to adhere the wig down. We're going to dry it a little bit, wait until it's tacky and just push it down. We're going to blow dry this a little bit more. Um, so that it won't stick to the edge band and just put the edge band on After that you're going to spray some spray. This is what's going to melt the lace. This is the even spray And i'm going to melt that all around the perimeter. I'm going to dry that once again Always make sure everything is dry before you tie it down And i'm going to tie it down with the band once again to make sure that it sticks to my head I'm going back in with the wax stick and a little bit of the spray so we can flatten this out at the top the knots are bleached pretty good and it was pre-plucked good the parting space is excellent it was pre-parted but you can always move that if you don't want a middle part i'm just taking a hot comb and flattening that out now that this is dry i'm going to cut the lace i cut in three sections that just makes it easier for me and after each section i go back in with the even spray and just spray some more and melt that in a little bit more So dry it some more and after you cut off all the lace, just go ahead and tie it down again and that's what you should have. Alright, so let's just go ahead and comb this through. I love body wave hair because I love how it naturally flows, so I'm not going to do anything to it. How simple was that, guys? I'm just going to go in and make this flat a little bit more, comb through the hair, and that's it. I love Arabella hair. I review for them a lot of times. They have quad pay, split pay options, so you don't have to pay for the whole wig up front. They have so many different type of wigs over there. Whatever you want, if you're a straight girl, Bob, they have it over there and they have some very good prices. So I will leave this week in a discount code below. Don't forget to check them out. Oh, hey, y'all. It's your little auntie, the one that looks just act too young for her age. Woo. But I'm still real, real lit. We're starting a new vlog. This will be the vlog that take us on into the new year, honey. The new year, new me. Literally. If you watched my last two vlogs. I am now a single woman. Don't be sad about it because I ain't ain't. <laughs> I ain't ain't. I think some of y'all are a little sadder than I am. Um, but um, yeah, a lot has shifted. A lot is different. And uh, let's just hop on for the ride and see where we go. Yeah, I have had this hair on my whole Christmas vacation. This hair has chlorine in it, beach water in it, and all that. And it's time for it to come off but it will come off tonight or in the morning so before we get any further i did get a box from dossier i love dossier so we're gonna go ahead and let them sponsor this portion of the video okay so let's talk about dossier they are a perfume company or a fragrance company they have candles they have wreaths they have inspired by perfume i talk about them all the time because i love them all right so you can find some dossier at walmart some on amazon but it is best to pick out the website because the variety is better and you can use my code which i will link below with the link to the website 
I was sent over a box right here. I did get to pick what I got, so let's just go through it really quick. One of you guys hit me up and asked me, did I know that Dossier, they have their own collections. It's perfumes that's not inspired by something. And it's called Dossier Originals, okay? This is called Golden Rum and Amber. They said it smells like gentle fluidy gold. I was like, I know you playing. I know Dossier don't have something that smells like my favorite. So it will come in the exact same bottle that the other Dossier fragrances come in, except right here. You see right here in this little circle, it says Dossier Originals. So let me tell you about this, okay? It is a very unique blend. It very, very, very much has the DNA or smells like the cousin of something of Gentle Fluidy Gold. But as it dry down, it don't. It packs a very loud rum scent, guys. But the amber is though, let's see what all is in here. Almond, plum, wood, rum, clove, cedarwood, vanilla. It's the vanilla and the amber that's making this smell like Gentle Fluidy Gold. Initial spray, yes, but when it dry down, you get that rum, woody smell that throw it off a little bit. Do I love this? Absolutely. I think you should invest in it, but I won't say it's a head-on, smack-on inspiration of Gentle Fluidy Go. So, this is one of their Inspired by Fragrances right here. Yeah, I already know what this is, right? Anytime Dossier asks me to pick new fragrances, I just get another bottle of Ambery Saffron which is inspired by Baccarat because my daughter and I go through it like water, literally. You would think we're showing you the same bottles every time, but we're not. This is my daughter's bottle. It's still a little corner in there. See, the one I showed y'all last time was completely empty. It's still a little corner in there. So, as a mom, I already gave her the full bottle, and that's why I'm showing you guys this one because she snatched it as soon as she saw the bottle. So... I'm gonna keep that because maybe I'm gonna work that little corner out of there. That's top pick, top pick. That's top two and it ain't number two, okay? So this one right here is called Powdery Jasmine and it is inspired by Victor and Roth Good Fortune. Now I do not have Good Fortune and it's in a purple bottle. How do I not have it? Well, I still don't. <laughs> this is Powdery Jasmine. Very much powder. Jasmine. I'm coming to the conclusion that Jasmine has to be mixed right for me to like it. I'm not a Jasmine fan. But this is pretty good. And then, child, they sent my favorite. Y'all know how I feel about Dossier Reads. Oh, my gosh. I actually have one right over here. Oh. I actually have one right there. I have one here in my shower i have one in my living room and my absolute favorite one is not this one that i opened first but i want to try this one but i want to try this one this is ambery cherry which is inspired by a lot cherry some for it lost cherry so this is how it will look when you get it you have your bottle and then you have your reed diffusers over here you just stick them in there and that's it. You don't light anything. You don't do anything special. You just let it light up the room and it lights up the room. Super excited to try that one because who don't love the scent of Lost Cherry or their version rather. So this is the one, this is my all time favorite. I have these all over the house guys and it is Ambery Vanilla and it is inspired by YSL Black Opium. Oh my gosh, the exact same thing. Same concept. This is just my favorite one. That's the one that I have over there right now and it's getting low. So I will make sure that I leave my link to Dossier below along with a discount code. Check them out. Clearly, I love them or I would have been stopped working with them, right? <laughs> Y'all know I don't play. <laughs> I don't play. <laughs> they are a great company. Check them All out. All right, guys. I don't know where to start. Look at my cute little bottle from Cancun. I painted on the beach. I thought it was so ugly, but it turned out so cute. This is way harder than it looks. And of course, I, we were supposed to do a Christmas bottle because it was literally Christmas. But nobody at the table hardly did a Christmas bottle. Well, maybe a couple of people. So I thought it would be cute to just set like some purple flowers in here and put it in a beauty room. I don't know. I was honestly going to leave it. 
I was like, that was just something for me to do that day and I was gonna leave it because my suitcase was already over, but I'm a Vanessa. So I managed to get away with it both ways, both ways, I always do. I got some more of these right here, which I'm about to pop these babies open right now. Maybe not, they're not as easy to open as I thought. These are the dry wipe tissues. This is what I use to wipe my face, guys, instead of a facial towel. And I ran out, guys, and I couldn't order anymore because you guys know I lost my wallet. So I had to cut off all those cards if Amazon wasn't playing. And so I was just like, duh, have Suge order them. I literally was down to my last one when I thought to have Suge order it. So she did. I don't even know why I keep getting a, a 60 count. These things are bum, and I love them. So I just need to go and get the six month supply or whatever. But I absolutely love them. They're thick. I had got some from Timu that were okay, but these are thick, they're durable, and they work really good on my skin. I am breaking out right now, but that's because I ate and drunk like a pig in Mexico. And so, yeah, my body is purging, but normally I have pretty decent skin, and this is why. Clearly, I didn't have these in Mexico either. Didn't have them at all, but I did have a little disposable ones that you wet under the water, but child, I, but I didn't even think to use those in the morning. I literally used their water and their towel, and that's probably why I broke out, because their water had the most disgusting smell to it, all right? So, I love this cotton from Chanel. You guys are always like, that's kind of a waste of money. They're only like 20 some bucks, but I get it when you can go to Dollar Tree and get a roll for a dollar twenty-five or something. But girl, baby, baby. Who on they last? <laughs> yeah, I'm literally on my last of everything, I guess. So, Chanel sent this big old box, honey. Chanel. Just to send me some more. But, hopefully they put me a magazine in here. Because that's what I got over here on this nice stand. Y'all, it's so dramatic. <laughs> Y'all know I be keeping these boxes, though. These boxes are great to give stuff people in. So, they have the Chanel ribbon. The box itself says Chanel. Girl, they got it packed good, girl. Like, I ordered a handbag. <laughs> there ain't nothing here but some cotton. That's it, that's all. Not even no samples up in here. So... Replace those and if I'm not mistaken, you don't have to get them from Chanel Mac, not Mac, Nordstrom's have them and etc. But baby, I will get them from Chanel because I want the whole experience Don't y'all want the whole package? Okay Okay, Christmas. I'm not gonna do a Christmas haul this year Um, Christmas was really weird this year because for once in like three four years I was in a Christmas spirit because what a lot of you guys don't know is even before my son passed away It was still hard for me to get in this Christmas spirit for years because my mom wasn't here And then like even before my son passed away I was having rough times and rough Christmases and holidays and etc because it was just so much going on with my son that like we literally fear for our life over here I think I talked about that in another video so I never could like get into the holiday spirit or nothing because I was just so worried about my child and us so this year I was finally in the holiday spirits again I was going to the light shows I was going to the pop-ups and then boom my dad got put in the hospital boom I lost my wallet Boom, Nicole moved out. So it's like, golly, do I not deserve happiness or something? What is going on? But child, life go on though. <laughs> life go on. So I said I'll let to say that I did get Say Noir. I showed this already in another video. Me and Suge smelled it together. I said it smells like a Joao Bala Tafa mix with Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. I showed this in my holiday gift guide because I accidentally opened it. I get so many packages when it came to the house. I just knew it was mine. And it was my birth. It, it was my Christmas gift from Nicole. So I had already got my Christmas gift from her. And you guys all should know what Say Noir looked like. I like it. A lot of people don't. I do. It's a personal preference type thing. So I will link it below still. I don't think it's the I don't think people don't like it. I just think people didn't expect it to smell like that. They was expecting something totally different. And they didn't get that. And it's just like we gotta do better with that because that's just like color purple, which I still haven't seen. I'll go see it, y'all. Go me a little date or something. But um 
I feel like everybody, Oprah, Fantasia, Taraji, everybody said it was a musical. Then here go people everywhere. I didn't want to hear all that singing. And I don't, I like the first one better. And it was like, so it's like y'all kind of forced a smell on Beyonce. And then got mad when it didn't smell like y'all thought it was going to smell. Weird. <laughs> Not y'all, but the people who did that. So this is from Shu. She got this. The joy of the Lord is in your strength. Read me when you are happy, thankful, angry, anxious, lonely, sad. Colored, coded Bible verses. This is so neat. So she got that for me. Whew. We've had a rough month. So, you know, even Suge had ticked me off. Y'all didn't know, but like my my Cancun was their Christmas present. I went all out. <laughs> I got um, swim up, beach view, extra stuff. And yeah, y'all see what ended up happening. So I just feel like this the year of me, y'all. This the year of me. This the year of me. The Lord just keeps trying to tell my whole head itself. You looking out for everybody and you're drowning. You're drowning, girl. I'm going to make it to where you can only look out for yourself. Woo. Indeed. So Suge also got me the Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, the the sparkle. Come on, sugar. And she better not be in her in my shit. Because y'all know this is her favorite scent. Woo. So that's that right there. I've heard mixed reviews on this too. Y'all said it don't sparkle as much as other stuff, but baby, we had the we got the gel, the shower gel, the hand gel, the lotion, the hair mist. The, we got everything except the damn perfume. I don't have Baccarat. I had it. It got like down to this low and I sold it anticipating I'll get another bottle. Don't even know why I didn't get the other bottle. So life has just been. But I, you know what? I'm going to order it right now. Because baby, I deserve it. Like Mama D said. I deserve one more thing to show you guys. I got some pieces from none other than Shianica. <laughs> I got some pieces from Shein, y'all. And what I'm gonna do really quick is just clean this mess up that I've made, and we're gonna try them on right over here. Let's just do that. Before I try this stuff on, I know this has been a lengthy intro, but I just want to say thank you for the overwhelming amount of love and support you guys have been showing me. I think you guys think that I'm like really mentally down, 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 down. So you've been pouring the love over to Instagram and cheering me on on my vacation and etc. And this is what I want you guys to know from everything that is happening to me. It's weird because the video that Nicole moved out, I was already saying that I was like at this low and I couldn't pull myself out of it and then that happened. So my low is not from Nicole. Um, I do feel like, hold on yeah. It's just a lot has happened and it's like, when I finally get to feeling better, I get punched again. You get what I'm saying? So I don't think a lot of people know how bad the the mental, the my dad been in the hospital wore my mental because I was fighting for his life. And then he was telling people it was something it wasn't. And then he was angry at me that I was still catering to him every day. In the midst of catering to him every day, I lost my wallet. And I don't know if I told you guys in a vlog, like the day I lost my wallet, I wasn't feeling well, but I took food up there. I took underwear up there. I took razors up there because my dad was just saying he just needed to shave. He, he couldn't get right. He was icky. He was itchy. He was, and that's the day I lost my wallet. And so when I picked my dad up, the first thing he said in the car was, I didn't even get the shave. And so it was like, I went all out when I wasn't feeling good to get that stuff up there. My daddy didn't even use it and I lost my wallet. And so, um, I don't know if you guys have ever lost a wallet or something has been stolen, but that's the easy part. Um, the counseling, all those cards, I have auto pay on a lot of stuff. They was kicking them back, back and forth. And I was having to catch them different ways. Um, you guys was fussing, never carry a social, never carry a, well guys, I 
know that as an adult. I do know that as an adult, but I am also a business woman and do a lot of business things. And so I got tired of getting to banks and loaners and, and like meeting with people about investments and stuff. And then I'm like, oh shoot, I got to go all the way back home and get my social. So that's what, the only reason why I was still in my purse. Um, and so I just think the, um, the hustle and bustle of having to cancel all that stuff got to me. Um, like I was telling y'all, Nicole was very, very low. And see, the difference between Milo and Nicole low is not downing her at all. That's, me and Nicole still talk every day, so we're not going there. We're not bad talking her. I was up brought a little different. My mama and daddy them taught me to just fight. If you got to start windmilling, just keep going. And she wasn't brought up like that, so... It's just like me, when I'm down, I can still see the light at the end of the tunnel. I know that it's going to be greater later. I know that this is setting me up for something better, so I keep going. Nicole don't have it in her. She don't see that light. So Nicole really got to an ultimate low, and I was so low, I didn't recognize it. So she did what she had to do, and her family did what they had to do, which was a sad situation in itself because... Me and Suge was helping Nicole get her stuff. And I looked up and I said, by the way, Suge, meet Nicole's mom. I've been with Nicole 14 years and I said, what a way for y'all to meet. So it's just like, that is what had me feeling like, wow. Because I've literally been with you 14 years and your mom has never ever met my daughter. She's never been down here for nothing positive. We've never, you know, and I was trying to get there after her sister passed away, but that's what made that so dramatic. I am not at all sad that Nicole left. I know that sounds so harsh. I tell you guys all the time, we were trying to figure out what we was going to do. And if she left, she was still going to be my homie. I just didn't like the way she left. I just wish it would have been a let's set this up, let's divide this, let's make sure this straight, let's take this out of my name, let's take that, not just whoosh, and leave me here with everything. But I'm be alright. I'm gonna be alright. I'm always gonna be alright, y'all. So I just um I don't want you guys to pray that we get back together because a lot of you guys are like it's just what you're going through now. Cause if that's not what it's meant and if that's not what the Lord wants, I'm gonna quit forcing it. <laughs> I forced it years and I just did that question and answer when we went to see the Jill Scott concert and that showed me a whole new side of things so I was fighting by myself and maybe it was something that I wasn't supposed to be fighting for so right now what I am just asking the Lord for is peace finally and to be okay with knowing that if she's just meant to be my friend this what it's gonna be and we go rock out like that because baby baby yeah so i love y'all so much for all of the encouragement you guys just really you just really really come through for me and I've, i'm already feeling better i really really hate nicole's going to a center i really really hate that she has to do that um, because I just feel like you can do this on your own, but she don't feel like she can. So, um, if, if it's your business and if she's okay with it, I'll keep y'all updated on her. But as of right now, I just want to focus on me too. Alright. Let's try these motherfucking clothes on. I just wanted to pop back in really quick to clear some up. And I know a lot of you guys are like, quit clearing stuff up. But I see, this just happened with Super yesterday. She told everybody that she was separated. And, you know, I can respect that because what social media does is we put y'all in our business when we happy. We in love. We going on trips. We getting engaged. We buying each other cars. We buying each other houses. And then when we break up, we're like, respect my privacy. <laughs> Like, no, I got to respect it now. You don't put me in all your other business. Not saying that I have to put y'all in my business. Of course, I'm going to still just tell y'all what I want y'all to know. But the, the leaving wasn't about me. Um, Nicole just, she can't recover from everything that's hitting her either. She lost her dad, her grandma, she lost her grandpa, her dad, her grandma, and then her sister in February. And she ain't been the same since February. 
she have it. And she can't she can't pull herself out of there by herself. So she needs to go get help. And uh, I'm going to be there for her every step of the way. Whether she right here or way to Nashville, where she at now. If she say she need me tomorrow, I'll fly to Nashville. It just is what it is. I just, I do wholeheartedly understand why she did what she did. And I'm grateful that she did. Because the last thing I needed to do was walk in on something that would have crushed my heart forever. Um, But... I just wish she was on different and better situ circumstances, man. My heart literally bleeds thinking about something happening to Nicole. And so, um, I just wish it was like, girl, this ain't working. I'm going to just go give me an apartment. i see you at the family cookout. But this ain't my world, you know, so. Child, why did I throw all this stuff down here like this? Because this is where I need to try to close on. I'll be back. So, yeah, I'm making my little baby daddy a box, child. I brought him back to Lickle from Mexico. And he needs, you know, weed. I'm taking a mix. He said he needs some liquid IV. And Nicole was drinking the adult ones. Because remember I told y'all I don't start drinking the kids ones? And so, I'm going to take him some of that. And he wants some cologne and some perfume for one of his little female friends, y'all. Boy. All right, guys. This is a nice little test run. It looks like you guys can see me full body. The light looks good. So, let's go. All right, guys. So, don't judge. I got a vision with this. I plan on wearing this with like a white button-up shirt under it. With like a, I almost said fedora, but... A little hat you guys are gonna have to see it it flares out it's like good stretch material I do have a new code on the Shein website if it's your first time you can use platinum 15 if not I will link another code below it's just like a little cute baby doll type dress you guys know I have been on my clueless stuff so I just figured this will be cute oh so y'all know I'm on my illusion dress vibe and here you go this one i should have went down a size it's like too big but it's black and white this coming black and red black and lime green there's your side view it's your back view right there i just love these little dresses they give you like the little loser leather jacket leather boots you got the door red lip you know it's a dress it's like half Button-up shirt, half sweater dress. It is too darling in my eyes. In my eyes. <laughs> Put on you some brown cream boots or something. And you're out the door, honey. It's just so cute. It's half and half. Yeah, I like it. Let me know. So this is just a black turtleneck dress. It's short. I saw somebody with a Letterman on, Letterman jacket or, or varsity jacket, um, some Chanel sneakers, a Chanel bag, and it was so cute with a dress like this. So I'm going to try to do that look like on a casual day. And this is one of those dresses I can just keep because it's plain and I can wear it over and over, you know. So that's why I got this yeah <laughs> all right y'all know i got a skirt from Shein like this i wear all the time i got a dress like this too this is a two-piece set so it comes with a faux leather blazer and a skirt i love this skirt gosh i love this skirt because when i wear these type of skirts i don't have to wear no shape or nothing it's a little big it is a lot big but uh We'll make it work. The back doesn't have like the tennis skirt feel to it though. And this jacket, you can button it right here. If you just want to wear this like this. Another little tennis skirt moment. Making me feel a certain type of way because I honestly be getting outfits based on places we had planned or things we were going to do. But I guess I still can do that stuff just by myself. 
Just when you've been in a habit of doing stuff together for 14 years, Lord, that's the part. You be comfortable. You are breaking that. But back to the clothes. This is cute. It's a two-piece. Has the matching jacket. I can wear it just like this, but with an actual bodysuit. And some black boots. My black boots that I wear the hell out because they're so comfortable. I can walk a whole parking lot in them, okay? So that's everything. I will leave the Shein links below. So let's talk about our perfume tray really quick. You know, this hair is really sick of my ass, and I'm kind of sick of it too. So um, here's last, not last vlog, because I was on vacation and did mostly Chris Collins. But this is the vlog before that. I did all green before, before because of the holiday season. This right here, bum, poppy. And I went on Nordstrom Rack, y'all, and they marked this down all the way to $19. If you don't grab it, oh, if you don't grab it, Tiffany & Co. didn't do nothing for me. Um, Versace Versace, I might sell this now because y'all know, babe bought that for Christmas. And it wasn't just really, like, bussing, but she gifted it to me. It, this is lime and cream. That's all I smell. Almost. This right here is Jumalong Osmanthus Blossom. Love this. And then this is Mark Jacobs Perfect, which I didn't know they don't sell this anymore. And I went to find it for you guys. And they're charging like two, three hundred dollars for this. Like what? Y'all say y'all get pickles. Oh, right when I said it. I finally smelled the pickle in this. But it's like a kosher pickle. I was thinking like sour dill. I smell it. That's so weird. But I still like it. It's so weird. I don't smell it like that though. Let's build a new tray. Hear me out. Hear me out. This is going to look like a lot. But hear me out. This tray is packed. Okay. I'm going to show you one by one, and I'm going to do it as fast as I can. I put that Dossier Golden Rum and Amber on here to test it out. We're going to test it out. That's the one that they say smell like Gentle Fluidy Gold. I did put Gentle Fluidy Gold on here because I have a whole small bottle and a whole big bottle now. So I'm going to try to get rid of this, this vlog. I'm also going to try to get rid of this little corner of Ambery Saffron in this bottle. Because I ain't throwing it in the trash now. So... Let's get into some of my newer fragrances that I've been needing to test. Um, even if it's not seasonal, Talia by Tiziana Serenzi. We're going to test Saint Noir. We're going to test Clive Christian Crab Apple Blossom. Golly, this is a $2,000 tray. Um, YSL, the Platinum one, a Platinum and Burberry Goddess because I just love that so much. So all of that is on the tray. And I don't want to be responsible. I don't want that baggage. That's not a fun marriage to be in. When you've already got your other stuff and, you know, we already have all... All right, guys. I'm supposed to be at a regifting party. You guys go with me every year. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just damn bad since I got back from Cancun, but, um... I decided not to go, um, and I'm supposed to go to like a freaky Christmas party tonight. Let me cover that. And I'm just going to chill out today because I'm in one of those moods. I literally woke up looking for Nicole, like, because I know it's Saturday, so I'm just like, oh, oh. So, um, it's weird because when I woke up looking for her, some just told me to check on her and she was having a really bad anxiety attack. So I just said I want to be by myself today. I don't want to go anywhere where I have to force myself to be happy, act like I'm having fun and I'm really not. So I don't know like when you have these moves, do you force yourself to get out the house or do you just chill and do what makes you, what comes your anxiety? And plus, um, I've just been extremely sleepy extremely extremely sleepy so i did tell my cousin that if i started feeling better around 7 which it is now 3 40 that i will still go with her tonight but most likely i might just chill but i came on here to show y'all this so you guys remember last year i showed you guys this site pretty brie had told us about hold on this ain't 
with this stuff it was all ten dollars and it's like gray quality girl the stuff is five dollars now but i don't remember what i got and i want to like triple double buy stuff so i'm gonna have to go in my closet because i never be able to find that haul and see what all i got and try to see what i can still get because the reason why i was on here i'm gonna show y'all is because i wore this dress in cancun and baby, I loved it. I didn't want no bra. Them things was sagging, but they natural, honey. And I didn't give not one damn. I still thought I was cute. And I was going to get it in the chocolate brown color. And I said, oh my gosh, it's $5 now, girl. Child, okay, I'll leave the link below for you. Morning, guys. I'm about to head out. I'm a little bit sad because this was our anniversary. Not wedding anniversary, but the anniversary that we got together. So we still celebrated this every New Year's Eve. Usually we did it in Asta. Um, but I think I told y'all yesterday I had canceled those Austin reservations. I was just gonna go ahead and go because remember my therapist said, <laughs> create happy memories where there were once bad memories. But, 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 but my friend, Keisha, the one who models for my shaper company, just tell me, and I mean just tell me, like, getting off the plane from Cancun, that she's getting married today. <laughs> and I was like, girl, why are you just not saying something? And she said, well, it originally was supposed to be in July, but we just decided to go ahead and do it. So I was like, mm. she make everything happen for me. I can call her one day, and she'll get on the road that night to make it down here for a photo shoot. So I'm gonna try my best to go. Well, I'm going. <laughs> it's in Houston, which is three, four hour drive, which I'm not up for, but anything for my friends, cause she would do it for me. So yeah, but I said I'll let to say that I'm just up in a fucked up mood, y'all. Yeah. Um. This used to be Nicole closet, so I spent all yesterday moving my stuff in here because I had the two hall closets, and that did something to me. It's just like, it's like you can say you want something, but do you really want it? That's I think that's why they say the grass ain't always green. Not, and it's just like, it's kind of really hard to explain because I'm not saying it like, Oh, come back home. It's just a weird feeling to have to do all this. Like, I ain't spent a holiday or nothing alone in 14 years. And prior to getting married, I hated them because my mom was deceased. My brother was gone. My daddy, y'all said he don't ever try to do nothing. So, I literally hated holidays but had to make the most out of them because I had kids. Um, And now I'm back feeling like that. But it won't be for long. God say trust the process and get through it. Weather the storm. Let's go. Baby, let me tell y'all something. I'm too hungry. And I'm not taking this suitcase over that hump. Cheddar's is literally walking distance from my hotel. God is good because, baby, I had to go through 50,000 toes. This ain't my side of Houston, y'all. This ain't my stumping ground. I'm <laughs> yeah, it ain't. But yeah, let's go. Always get your free waters, okay? Always. So let's talk about it. Have y'all been watching the flight attendant that tell you what to do? Leave your suitcase in the door. Make sure nobody's in the shower. <laughs> y'all know I do this anyway kick the bed even though I could see it they just make sure no one's under the bed but most of them have like a stand this don't have any exaggerated curtains so yeah see Cheddar's right there baby and then oh gosh y'all know I like two beds want to put my suitcase on um then check the closet So I love Double Tree, and if you are a Hilton member or stay at the Hilton a lot, you know why. Y'all want to guess? 
they be having them free hot cookies. <laughs> so, let me text everybody and tell them I'm here. Maybe my family is just like, they stunned, they in shock. They like, what? It's funny because my auntie Neil was like, she was just at the Christmas party. I'm like, I know, I don't know what happened at fast. I'm like, child, I know. Life happens fast. I just, I still, even though she's not here, I'm still worried about her. I text her, she don't respond fast. I get scared. I'm gonna just tell you, all y'all right now, if you're dealing with mental health issues, do whatever you can to stay sane and talk to somebody because I never knew it was that deep. Yeah, this property is so new, they don't even have a sign up. At the front desk, I have to be like, so this is what reminds me. Turn my bank card back off. Oh, damn, I did. I'm quick with it. So used to doing it now. So I basically still have my stuff packed from Cancun. I don't have not one contact lens. I don't know what it is about me in Houston. Every time I come to Houston, I forget to pack contacts. I brought all of my outfits. Usually I unpack, but I'm not going to because it's real simple. I didn't bring a lot of jewelry, none of that. Straight to the point, what you go wear that day? And that's it, some pajamas, some underwear. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do some of my friend. Don't know I'm here, y'all, it's a surprise. Oops, girl, this look a mess. <sighs> It's a surprise, child. She thought I was in Austin, which originally I was supposed to be. She was like, the wedding, da, da, da. I was like, girl, I will be in Austin. Psych. <laughs> girl, I got one contact. Literally one. One. Ooh, child, it just dawned on me. I don't have soap either. <sighs> Is this worth a while more trip? Baby, I really just packed and came. I really did. But yeah, I don't have soap. <sighs> I used the rest of that soul de Janeiro. <laughs> yeah, I like how I said that. I used the rest of it in Cancun, so I just left the container in the shower to ease um, my suitcase load. Now I don't have any soap in here. I think I'd be okay using theirs though. Sit down now. So I came down here, baby. They represent the Houston Rockets as they should. They got some little Texas ornaments. <laughs> Those are cute. Um, girl, not the chain. Not the chain. But yeah, they don't have no soap in here. They said, B, it's soap in the room. Yeah, so the waiter was like, you know, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it is. That's probably why my friend switched his wedding date last minute, but I really should have got my stuff to go, y'all. That's what I need, the painkiller. That bitch so strong is limit two per guest. Cranberry and Tito. This salad was for um, bunny rabbit. Got them carrots. 
literally about five little carrots on it. Like they said an extra 99 cents for bacon. I said hold this swan. Don't need it no way. Y'all look at all these carrots. <laughs> That was just like piled on top. Yeah, I was seriously trying to finish my drink, but it started tasting like cow medicine. You know, cranberry in a drink is already kind of tricky. Cause it's gonna give you like that Robitussin type taste. Baby, nah. Y'all know what I was thinking about. I hope when I get back, all the parking spaces aren't full. You know how I be? How, um, baby, we couldn't do the mood. You know how, like, everybody be back? And so it don't be no spaces? Damn, they got the laws right there. I doubt it be like that, though, because everybody gonna be out partying. Yeah, I am really confused because it's bringing me to a church. And what makes it even more confusing is the gates wasn't even open. It's 8.55 and they just opened the gates. And I'm at a church. She having a 9 p.m. wedding at a church. I'm real confused. I'm going to have to run a surprise. Because I don't know what's going on and I don't want to miss the wedding. But it's the exact same address on the invitation. Oh, I thought this was her. Yeah, I'm real confused. I'm going to have to ruin the surprise because I really don't know what's going on. And it's going to rile up my anxiety. Miss Nicole. Alright, y'all. Let me tell you, give y'all some light. I am at the right place. Um, I just had to ruin the surprise. She ain't even here yet. Whew. Black ass folks. Let's just do this. This lady next door knows it. Dang. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, yeah, I did have to run a surprise, but I'm so glad I did because I need a safety pin. She said her mama got one. Thank God. Or I would have just had to catch her at the after party because um, they ain't out like they usually be, but I need them pinned just a little bit. Just a little bit, child. But I like that. Uh, I'm in here now. Look at you. Say hey, Chuck. Uh -oh. <laughs> Turn to the side. Oh, she getting married. She getting married. I'm inside. I just told y'all I'm in the It was trapped. <laughs> I didn't get that. That's, I thought that was it. But is it? But I can't be getting it. Never have I felt that I can do the perfect time on me. This is why I love you. We don't want to hear from you later. <laughs> Amen. You don't? His second need because we got some young people here. In with X, 
round respect. Number three, I pronounce you life in the presence of God and all of these assembled witnesses at 11.59 p.m. New Year's Eve. Sir, we're not from the bird family, so we don't do no pecking. <laughs> it's time to salute your bride. for trying to surprise people. Yeah, I'm trying to get it before my camera die. Where they at? I hear them. Lord. I think we in the hood, y'all. They got laws everywhere. In this parking lot of this church. Bob wire. Bob. My camera finna die. After the show, it's the after party. <laughs> I can't catch them. Oh, there goes some over there. Yes, I think I have this. Happy New Year, guys. Baby. I'm gonna go jump in the pool. I'm gonna go get on the hookah. Ooh, this light is just messing up everything. For, for coming. Uh, definitely want to thank the host for. Thank you. Uh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and I like to propose a post to toast to my daughter, my little baby, <laughs> and to her husband, Fonzie. I hope you guys have many years together. Hope you guys take care of each other, look out for each other, and become one. All right. So I love you guys, and anything you guys need, we're here for you. And. We're on the phone call away. We're Cowboys fans. <laughs> six baby i had one too many baby what is they in here making these round punches and stuff with i want to get back to the hotel before it gets too late and too drunk and it's gonna start raining so i hated to leave but i did what i came here to do <sighs> oh i'm a little tipsy y'all y'all ain't gonna believe this shit i got the exact same parking space she's sitting right there she can open this door i'm gonna follow the rules though look at her ass in that phone. Kaboom. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I thought I was finished. I right, let's go. Every right, morning. <laughs> First of all, I ain't, I ain't, they they big and they natural and they go hang. So, bro, bro, I'm 43. I can't live like this no more. Mm -hmm. I don't do this. But I'm tired. Well, I'm too tired. 
I'm gonna eat this McDonald's drug was sent to me. I was I woke up craving a sausage egg, egg and cheese biscuit. That's the best damn thing McDonald's got. Yeah, last night I didn't take the, I didn't take the camera me. If y'all didn't know how my exes live in Texas, Houston, Texas, that is. I love them stuff too. The one who always sending me stuff and then Nicole. I don't know what it was about Houston. I guess I got like this thing where I, when I'm in a relationship, I feel like if you all the way in Houston, I can breathe a little bit. <laughs> now, it, it really do be a coincidence. I have no idea how that happens. One of them passed away last year. Year before that. This year. Ooh, 2023 made a year. And it's like every time I come to Houston, I get sad because I just think of all the places we went. Hoes chasing us down on the freeway because he was a dog. May he rest in peace. That's the one I told you I snatched my wig off that time. Then, but I got one. I'm scared to go to the gas station. I'm scared to go to Walmart. I'm scared to go anywhere because, baby, I'm scared I'm going to run into them. Baby, they, they, I'm going to show y'all right now. Ooh, you want to talk about obsessed? This woman's so crazy. It's a female stud. She got Nikki slabbed right here. She got my initials right here. She got my government name going down her leg. Text me all day, every day. You see, ain't no response. Ooh! <laughs> I wasn't ready for those pictures to come up. Well, I really don't care. Like, I said something back. Wednesday, November 8th is the last time I responded. That's over a month ago. And so. Said I let the say, baby. I'd be like, oh, it'd be just my look. I'm coming out of Wild Boy and boom. Because that's the kind of look I've been had. What well, I had in 2023. It's 2024. Happy New Year, y'all. Four. Anyway, y'all know I used to deal with two rappers here. Oh, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all like, y'all my homegirls. If you know me, you know who they are. Had a problem with Cindy last night. But I need to get back to this room at 6 o'clock. I woke up at 9. It's 10.43, baby. I'm going to chug this and chug. Eat this and go back to sleep. I had a grand old time. Contact the camera in that house anyway. And I wouldn't have. Because... Y'all know I'm under a microscope. People be like, oh, your wife just left. And you, you over your ex's houses. And plus, I, I wouldn't dare want y'all to know who this is. Because very popular Houston rapper. But um, I was just telling my friend last night after the wedding, which was gorgeous, by the way. We had a grand old time at the after party, everything. I was just telling her that like I feel wrong because I'm already ready to date. But I think I told y'all in the video before. I'm going to try to find it that like if me and Nicole separated, I was going to start dating like the next week. Because when I leave somebody, that's why my exes be like, because I guess they used to people leaving them and then coming back. When I leave somebody, that means that you have been on my shit list for months or years. I just kept trying, kept trying, kept trying. It's kind of like crack, trying to get that same high I got the first time. I just keep trying, I keep trying. So when I'm done, I've been tapped out mentally. Especially when I got left, honey. <laughs> Baby, I got left, I got dumped. Kick to the curb. <laughs> Let me stop playing, but yeah. So. I, I got somewhere else to go tonight. I, I'm going to ask. No, 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 no. We'll see. But congratulations to my friend. That's been my friend since sixth grade. The sweetest person I know. Never had. I ain't never had not one argument with her. None. 
not once since sixth grade. If don't nobody deserve this more than her, I don't know who do. She told me she was like, she would not get married until she found a man that treat her like her dad treat her mama. Now that's deep. Oh, why Nicole talking about this picture too much? She said this picture is almost too much. Bro. Bro. I said, you I must be mind your business, girl. That's just $300 out. Wasn't worth it. Get you some of my chin. Because that just is $300. Remember I was supposed to work for my birthday and it came literally when I came back from the cruise. Mm -hmm. Cute as hell, but I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I almost embarrassed me a couple of times because it started tearing up. So anyway. For something better. For something tighter, for something higher. Is that the words, Jill? Like, don't fuck my shit up. I'm sorry, Jill. I'm sorry, Jill. You know I'm your number one fan. Let me, let me look up the words. Y'all yeah, finally back up. I gotta get the hell up, cause the Texas lottery. Well, I gotta get up anyway. I got somewhere to be. The Texas lottery is 810 million. She, baby, I'm gonna go give me about 50 tickets. Nah, because do you realize when people overdo it and buy all them tickets and stuff like that, they never the winner. It's always the person that just went and earned them. I had my last five dollars, <laughs> so I'm gonna go get a ticket, baby. I love me some high tech stuff, not the touch screen. <laughs> Go to the movies and y'all, I have tried everything in my power to find y'all this bag. Y'all was with me when I bought it in Dillard's. But the only one I could find online is the black one. I don't know what that's about. Still got the Dillard's receipt in here, so I don't know. I tried to look it up on Dillard's, Kurt Geiger, Google. All I find is the black mini. Ugh. I'm just not a tennis shoe girl. All right, guys. So here's the ticket. But I went by the front desk. Got me some more free water for tonight, and another cookie. And it's fresh. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Oh, yeah, I thought I was playing. Oh, damn, scoop the fuck back. And finna get this lottery ticket. Be right back. Well, y'all, they cash only and they don't have an ATM. Be late to the movies. Girl, I'm gonna be scrambling after the movie to go get a ticket. Because I'm right here where I'm supposed to be. Oh, yep, studio movie grill. It's pretty over here. Let's just hope I'm in the right parking garage. Oh, it's a theater and retail right there. Baby, this girl gonna find her way. Nigga, I'm tired though. Y'all remember? I'm on level three. This for y'all reference. Cause I'm be all right. Y'all, I ain't never in the history of Darden life been to the movies by myself. Ever. First time for everything. Baby, let me tell you something. I ain't never in my life been to studio movie grill and got my food that fast. The move, the previews barely had started. And they was already drinking. Yeah. Movie was good. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck I'm at. I'm about to be real fat because I'm finna go up here and beg for a cookie. Hey, can I have a cookie? <laughs> cookie monster. Thank you. Oh, they hot too, y'all. Hot and fresh. Y'all see that? 
Start your day. Sun is up. See, when you leave so like color purple, you think you're supposed to sing everything. Hey, get off the elevator. Go to the room. It's gonna be a good night. Cause I'ma change and leave back out soon. Here's the vibes for the night, y'all. It's already 10 o'clock, so let me hear you up because I was supposed to go to the movies at like noon or one. Gotta make it to the movies to seven. I was tired. So this is the Amazon dupe shades. She in purse. She in earrings. She in shoes. The gold is off, but they ain't gonna show like that. This is from the boutique where my daughter salon is. Hopefully I can wear this shit because it's a large. She got a little stretch to it. She got it for me for my birthday. So one piece. Let's get it. Let's go. Why are you still in Houston? Why not? <laughs> Why not? I'm self-employed. I can work from anywhere. Y'all, this still smell like that leave. Strong. That shit smell good. When I sprayed it on leave and I was like, ugh. I told you sometimes you gotta let the stuff dry down. That's why I don't ever go in department stores and stuff and smell some and pick it. Oh, I love the vanilla in this. It's like a lot of different vanillas. So I don't even know which vanilla it is, but I spray it on in that department store. I boo. If I'm trying on multiple things, here, 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 here. And remember what I spray where I walk around, shop or something, then come back because I never, ever, ever can get the uh, initial off top. So let me put some gloss on. Ooh, damn. Bad. That pimple though. This pimple got the best of me, child. Actually, I'll just put some Dior balm on. I mean, look for you. Y'all know I love these. I love them. Heck out. Yeah. Love them, love them, love them. Got them everywhere. In this suitcase. In my purse. In my nightstand. I got every color in my backup drawer. But I don't found something about them that annoy me. Let's see if it do it. It ain't gonna do it because I'm trying to show you. But when I go to put it on, oh, I hate that. And sometimes that slings. For forty dollars, forty dollars. You want a sling snot on me everywhere? Okay, let me stop. Get on about an H town because it's gonna start raining at five, and I need to be gone before it start raining. Because if you from Texas, you know Houston rain hit a little different. That's why they always flood in here. Oh, here's the part I hate. Being a strong black woman. Oh. Girl, I'm going to turn you people TV up. Y'all need to see it, child. Good, no witnesses. I ain't do that. Ooh. Ooh. Let's just let this fall to the ground. There we go. It's a little heavy because I got all those pre-packed toiletry bags and stuff. And the makeup kit itself is heavy. I clean my room before I leave. And that's so I can make sure I don't leave nothing. I bet housekeeping be like, damn, was she even in there? Because I don't play. 
Look, just like when I got in here. And I never like really had stuff in the bathroom because didn't have no soap. And my dumb ass and my big grown age use theirs. Me but girl, I'm irritated. You know good goddamn well. You two get old to know that that soap wasn't gonna tear my tail up. Oh, what's going on? Let's just go. Mm -hmm. You have any cookies? Yeah. I got me a cookie, y'all, but it's finna go in the trash because it's hard as a rock. Oh, shit, it's chilly. Let me put my jacket on. Y'all, look at they, uh, is that not a bump or that grill? What you can't tell. Do your thing, boo. Just go on. Just go on, go. <laughs> y'all. Uh-uh. See, that's what I get. I feel like I'm delivered. <laughs> Let me stop playing, y'all. But honestly, that's why people can't get over stuff. Sometimes you gotta laugh stuff off and heal. But I'm delivered, y'all. See me and me. I'm gonna lose all my LGBT people. Honestly, I don't think I will because. Girl, did I not like my dough? It didn't. Honestly, I don't think I will because when I put that post up for me in the car, oh, I look like I'm tired as hell. For our anniversary on the cruise. I lost over a thousand followers on um Instagram. I was like, oh, did people not know I had a wife? Because you know, a lot of people don't fool with that kind of stuff. And then I was like, or oh, was it people lust and thought they had a chance and was like, oh, she married. I lost over a thousand followers. I could not believe that. Didn't nobody tell me they got a drive through. Do I want to go in here and eat though? Hold on, security. Can I park right there? Oh, I guess so. She look confusing to me. All right, y'all, let's go. No cash. Baby, in and out. That wasn't even five minutes, probably. But they just opened at 11. It's 12. And you know, they been, oh, this smells so freaking good. Whoo! Child, does somebody want this walking space? Nope, I can sit here and enjoy my ride. Baby, this smells too good. Oh, girl, don't you drop this. Girl. Yeah, let's take them fry. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Woo! Check this. Hmm. I see why people was passing out in this line. Man, it's a first taste. Let me just call you back real quick. Y'all, whoo, whoo, hold on, I tell Nicole, let me FaceTime you back. Girl! Good. Oh my freaking gosh. Ah, damn. It's another one of them. I was like, I'ma just get a taste. Shit. I know you fucking lying. Which I believe my bump was so messed up, boy. I cannot drive. Which I believe this is my first time getting gas at Bucky's. And is I get everything but gas. Hold on. Gotta double triple that cause I got that heat in my car. Not that kind of heat. Well yeah, that kind too, but my luggage. Bitch, I will slap the dog shit out of you if you don't stop. You right here. 
I don't play them games. Yeah, my friend got me on a hunt for this Stanley looking cup. That's a Valentine's Day cup. She all the way in Colorado though. Baby, they ain't got that cup. Baby, I had ran out of memory on y'all. I don't see it nowhere, y'all. They don't have it. Baby, it look like a Stanley cup, so you know they done came up in here and, and I ain't stopping at the other one. It's one more on the way home. I might stop because I really, really like her. She started as a subscriber and became a friend. I've met her in Vegas and everything. Stop number two because I'm a grand old friend. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody looking at me like I'm crazy. And is. Well, yeah, I looked and looked and then I just asked the manager and she said, girl, we sold out of that cup in one day. Baby. I'm going to show it to y'all. Because one of y'all will find it like y'all found my sparkly cup, but it ain't even for me. Looks like a Stanley cup. Girl, look at him. Damn. Focus, focus. He turned that motherfucking chop beef up. Oh boy, he ain't, he ain't ate all day, y'all. And I don't understand, I don't even turn my car off the most time I'm out here. Because if you didn't know, the cemetery is the number one place people be trying to jack people. So with that being said. Let's go. Alright, y'all, everything's great out here. Y'all know I be having to come and check on this situation because... check on this situation because they don't really be upkeeping out here so I was on something Facebook and did y'all see where this lady saw where they was like selling and auctioning her daughter casket and I'm like and her daughter had a custom casket you know how they wrap them now with like pictures and stuff her daughter casket was on Line, bro like somebody was selling it y'all know I don't talk about this much but my boy was on the Grammy's 50th hip hop celebration they honored my son so that was bittersweet <laughs> it's like wow I didn't know that little was that popular but uh <laughs> yeah I'll be right back. Yeah. I'm gonna open this stuff right here because when I get home, it's chill time. This is from Elanda Peterson in Florida. Kissy me. Is that how you say that? This heavy. It say Merry Christmas. May your joys be delightful. Your blessings be many. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a Starbucks card in here. It say, hey, Platt, you are one of my favorite influencers. I wish you the best in life, health, and all. God's blessings, you are appreciated. Stay prayed up and keep stepping in these on these bitches' necks. Merry Christmas. Love you, girl. Thank you so much. Come in below if this is you, because I be knowing y'all. You know, YouTube switched it up, and it has the usernames now, so I don't be knowing who is who, but thank you so much, Elena. Elandra. So this is from Michelle and family in Forney. That's close to me. Forney, Texas. Texas. Sweet Texas. Peace and joy at Christmas. Oh, sorry. My hand in the way. Oh, I got the red cardinal on there. It say Merry Christmas. Katie and Michelle, much love. Love you, Michelle. I did her makeup one time. Her wife paid for her to get her makeup done, and we've been friends ever since. Thank you so much. This just say Chicago, Illinois. They don't say from who, y'all. This part. Oh, the Lord will bless his people with peace. Amen. Amen. Let him use you. Oh, it's raining. I better get home. It say, Nikki, God bless you, and keep. And I'm keeping you in my prayers. Love to you and your family. Iman, aka Product Snob. Oh, this is my girl. She sent me a Starbucks gift card too, but she did it electronically. Thank you so much, honey. And I got this right here from my girl, Shalandra Sweets. I think there's some earrings. She told me she was going to send me some earrings. She's local. Yep, Dallas, Texas. Mm. 
y'all it's time for these to come off golly that Sally's beauty glue is good golly i've been having these on since before christmas and it's after the new year baby one of y'all was like i've been telling you about that glue she said i've been telling you and who does did she say was it glamazon you no know, you and gina i was like girl okay but you want the only one <laughs> This is, oh yes, them Dallas Cowboys colors. Stop playing. Oh, and that's what they say, Dallas Cowboys. Stop playing with your girl. Thank you so much, babe. Those are going to go so good with my Dallas Cowboys gear. Baby, I'm thinking I came home to every car that was <laughs> lost. Baby, I've been an emotional mess since I've been home. I got here and the hall light was off. And I'm like, Lord, are the lights out? But then I'm like, why would Suge, her boyfriend, my daddy, just be up in the house with the lights off? It just needed a bub child. So they reminded me because, baby, I didn't pay bills. <laughs> 50 50 who? <laughs> and I'm just, I hit the car. I was like, Lord, when is the electricity? I don't even know when bills are due. Come in. I got this many calls today. Still waiting on. This probably half of them. Or oh, maybe a third. Hold on. I'm still waiting on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. I'm still waiting on eight. And Nicole just sent a confirmation. Was like, I paid it for you. She's still paying my bills. This is crazy. And that's why. Oh, now this is what's crazy. Because why. This is why I say no matter what, we still gonna have each other back. Not that I needed her to, because clearly my cards are rolling in. Tired as hell. My cards and stuff are rolling in, but it's just the principle that she's still paying my bills. Like, car insurance, electricity, water. I know that's gonna eventually stop, but it's just sweet of her to still do it.